Hello everyone and welcome back to part 26 of the Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. So last time we left off, we had just finished uh, getting through to here. I think we're now on Route 13, or we've been on Route 13. Not too sure. But yeah, we're gonna come up here. It looks like we have a double battle to deal with, so let's get our team ready for that. Um, how much XP do you have, buddy? Yeah, let's uh, keep that the same, I guess. Um, we use a potion real quick. Just to help Gyarados out. Um, we only have one super potion left. Uh, here you go, buddy. And that ought to be fine. And yeah, let's get right into it. Why not? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, it's not a double battle? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, we are up against Beauty Sheila. Okay. Physical Fairy. Nice. Butterfree's probably gonna do decent, I would assume. Oh. Apparently Clefairy's faster than our Butterfree. Very odd. I don't know how much I uh, would believe that, but okay. And, oh, Confusion's not doing much. Let's do Poison Powder. We get some extra damage going for us here. There we go. And now we'll just go back to uh, spamming Confusion, I guess. I don't think Gust is better than uh, Confusion, so... Probably our safest bet here. And we might get a Confusion on top of uh, the Poison, so that would be really cool to get. Mock Punch, okay. Not very effective, thank god. Hurt by Poison, nice. Wish uh, Butterfree had Toxic, because it would just keep on doing more and more damage here, but it's okay. Metronome, very scary. Meteor Bash. Okay. Um, that might knock us out, actually. No. Oh, what? She got the attack boost from it? Nutty. And Poison doesn't do the job all the way. And hey, we outspeed. That's kind of odd. <laughs> and we're about half health. Clefairy got knocked out, though. 421 XP. Not bad. Meowth is coming out next. We're going to do the same strat, I think. Just do a Confusion, see where we stand, and then Poison. And if need be, we will switch out. Um, I don't think we need to, though. Let's see how much damage this does to us. Okay, yeah, that's a little worrying. Uh, we'll do one more confusion, though. And... Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Please. Please let the confusion work. Please be confused, Meow. Come on. Ah, uh, no! Come on. It's gonna faint, isn't it? Oh, no, Butterfree, way to go. Okay. MVP, MVP. Not as squishy as I thought. And, yeah, Meowth is down. And Butterfree's gonna level up here. Woo! -hoo! So now everyone's at least level 30. A nice uh, point for everyone to be, I feel. Beauty Sheila, it's over already. We got 20 88 Poke Dollars for winning. Nice. Let's go ahead and switch someone up front, though. Um, let's do. I guess Venusaur. Um, let's switch these guys around a little bit. And if we get into a double battle, let's have Pidgeotto up here. Why not? And then switch with Nido King. Sweet. Alright, let's see what she has. Another beauty. Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. Okay, okay. Um, I hope you mean battle. <laughs> beauty Lola here with the Rattata. Okay, you already know where this is going. Hopefully a clean sweep from Venusaur here. Gonna hit him with Razor Leaf. Get a crit, get a crit, you know. And it's just gonna knock it out. Not bad, not bad at all. Venusaur gains a good, I mean not good, decent amount of XP. Gonna have a Pikachu out next, and why not just throw out our Nido King? Since he's already paralyzed, we got nothing to lose here. Except for it not landing, I guess. And Pikachu level 27. Um, not too big of a threat, like I said. Hopefully. Oh no. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> Double team Pikachu? Ugh. Nasty. Um, hopefully we hit, though. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed too bad, and double team isn't too effective. All right, moment of truth, Nido King use Dig, it missed. Ah, oh. no, no way, no, no. Okay, okay, two evasion boost Pikachu. Not liking it here. <sighs> Sorry to yawn. Oh man. Come on, Nido King, come on, Nido King. No, <laughs> Nido King is just getting boxed here. Ah, uh, oh, no. Are you kidding me, Nido King? Uh, you're such a trooper, man. Come on. Oh, it got poison point, though, so maybe we'll just sit here getting paralyzed and missing our attacks until it, you know, just gets poisoned way too much. And Pikachu's hurt by poison. 
Pikachu is... Ah, another double team! No! <laughs> no, no, no! You can just paralyze the game! <laughs> no, no, no! You know what? Forget it. We're just gonna try to hit double kick. I, I, it might be too late to try to hit this Pikachu now with four... Are you kidding me? Four evasive boosts, and then it's getting paralyzed every other turn it feels. No! <laughs> Pikachu is just messing with us at this point. Pure teasing. No! Nitto King, this thing is gonna be an hit, bro. Nitto King, Nitto King, please. No! Another double team! Oh my god. No! <laughs> Nitto King, why couldn't you do that? Four! Uh, this Pikachu's gonna be doing laps around our team, I feel. Thankfully, it got poisoned because that's the only damage we've done to it is poison damage. <laughs> Ditto King! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my composure here. I just, I'm coping, I feel, with the effect that this thing has, like, so many evasion boosts and we're paralyzed and we can't hit it because we're either too paralyzed to move or. No! <laughs> I've never had an enemy use this many, uh, double teams on this playthrough yet. I think the poison's gonna take it out this turn, though. Oh my god. Pikachu missed? What? Nitto King missed? That's uh, okay, that's about par for the course, I feel. Anyways, now that we got our composure back a little here, Pikachu has fainted all due to poisoning. Nitto King really tanking those blows. Um, again, Pikachu's not that big of a hitter anyway. If that is gonna come out, we're gonna we're gonna go back to Venusaur here. Oh. Alright, we're not gonna go back to Venusaur here. We're gonna um, try to double kick through this oh. Oh my lord. Alright, let's do one more double kick. Pursuit? I mean, I thought I was gonna switch out. Huh, okay. Would have been the smart thing to do, but you know Pikachu with like times six evasion, so we're fine, buddy. Looks like Nido Kings will be sitting out these next few battles, though. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get to the next town over. Beauty Lola has been defeated. 1944 Poke Dollars. Not bad, not bad. Um, so we got a kid here. Let's see what she has to say. Wow, your badges are too cool! Thank you! I've been working pretty hard for these, you know? Hitting the gym every few episodes. Anyways, Picnicker Valerie is here, and she's got a Poliwag. Okay. Uh, I think Venusaur's got this under control, so we're just gonna use Razor Leaf here. Probably could have used Vine Whip, to be honest, and been just as safe, but, you know. Don't want to get hip hypnotized by a Poliwag again. And Poliwag is coming out. We'll, we'll try Vine Whip. Just for, like, future reference here. And... It does knock out, surprisingly. Okay, we've had Vine Whip since, like, I think right after Brock's Gym or at Brock's Gym, so that's crazy that it still holds up. 600 Poke Dollars, not bad at all. Um, let's see if we can go talk to this girl. Yeah! My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance! Aw, uh, big word. <laughs> anyway, we are up against the other Picnicker. It is Picnicker Gwen. Not bad. She's got a Pidgey here. A little worrying for our Grass-type Venusaur, but we'll try to use a Cut and see how much damage that does. Just hitting us with a Quick Attack, though. I guess we're both feeling the water here. And Cut does pretty good damage. Okay, Venusaur, hit him again. Sweet. Knocked her out. Nice. 318 XP. She's in another Pidgey. I guess we're just going to keep using Cut, because Venusaur is pretty good with Cut for some reason. I'm glad. Oh, it missed. Whirlwind. Okay, free switch in to Butterfree. Oh no. Um, let's try to use Confusion. Let's try to use Confusion here. Um, how much damage does that do here? Ah, I think we can chance it. Yes, and luckily she did not go for the quick attack and we are able to destroy Pidgey here. Venus we're getting 159, Butterfree getting a little bit as well. Pidgeotto's coming out. Um, let's use Pikachu. Just for the easy way out. And... What level is your Pidgeotto, dear? Level 27. Not bad at all. Uh, doesn't have Wing Attack yet, so we are good. That Quick Attack did so much damage. My Pikachu is so squishy. It seems like everyone else's Pikachu is just, like, really, really powerful. And then we come to mine, and she's tried her best, you know. Don't get me wrong, but... <sighs> Sometimes it's just not enough, you feel me? Um, let's do... Uh, let's do Gyarados. Just because. And go Gyarados! And meow. Alright, 
three level difference here, and Intimidate's gonna cut your attack straight in half here, and let's hit it with a Water Pulse. See how much damage we're doing with that at least. And, da 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 da, it doesn't knock out. Yeah, I'll use Faint Attack. Okay. Um, doesn't do much. Six damage, I think, there. And we'll hit it with a Dragon Rage, because I'm pretty sure they're in range for the Rage. And they are. Sweet. Good job, Gyarados. Getting a little bit of XP there to start off there. Level 30 bar. And going. Good going. You totally won. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> you got $540 Poke Dollars for winning there. Um, is there any trainers we're missing up here? There's a Biker and a Bird Keeper. Um, well, he could be a rocker too, right? I think he's a bird keeper though for sure. So we're gonna put uh, Pikachu up front for this one. And da -da -da -da. I'm not going to lose. Not when the wind's blowing my way. Okay, so yeah, I think I caught it right. He is a bird keeper. So Pikachu roughly just steamrolls this guy. Bird keeper Perry out here. Spiro. Hey man, good choice, good choice. But it should be Spiro by now. Gotta dock you a few trainer points for that in my fame checker here. Uh, <laughs> so Thunderbolt's gonna hit, of course, and it one-shots, not surprising enough. It's a first-stage evolution, so pretty squishy. And Bird Keeper Perry's gonna send in Pidgey. Uh, again, we're just gonna keep using Thunderbolt and probably just do the whole team out like that. Uh, no contest at all. Pikachu, you know, after we missed... I want to say mistake, we gave uh, Pikachu Shockwave, but, you know, I didn't know we were getting it literally next level, so <laughs> I wish I had looked that up. But hey, I thought it was like way later on. I think I was thinking about, um, I think Pokemon Yellow had it like really high level. I could be wrong as well, and just making excuses. But you know, for some reason I, I thought it didn't learn, uh, I thought she wasn't gonna learn Thunderbolt for quite some time. But no, you were wrong. And a Spiro. Yeah, no, we've got this. And Bird Keeper Perry throws out Spiro yet again. And we're just gonna keep mashing this Thunderbolt. Not much to, uh, Commentate on this fight for because Thunderbolt for the win when it comes to these base evolution bird type Pokemon. Maybe she'll surprise me with a Pidgeotto. I mean, he. Uh, it is another Spiro, so nope, I don't want to switch. Sorry. <laughs> and Bird Keeper Perry sends out his final Sparrow. Spiro, I mean, not Sparrow. Uh, and it's not surprising to anyone here. Uh, it's a one shot. <laughs> and Pikachu's most likely gonna level up, right? Yes, way to go, Pikachu! Level 31 now, nice. And Bird Keeper Perry has been defeated. And I saw a biker up next. They usually have poison types, so I might just have to suck it up and give Butterfree here a nice hyper potion. I thought about buying lemonade at the mall while we were there, but I didn't want to take too much time up at the mall. And now I regret it, because we just used a 200 HP potion on a Pokemon that's probably gonna lose most of its HP in this fight, so. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's put our weak Pokemon down at the bottom here. There we go. Um, so let's see what this biker has to say for himself. And what are you looking at? All right, uh, I'm not quite sure, man. I was looking forward and you, you kind of stopped me in my tracks here. So biker Jared would like to battle. Throw out a coughing first things first. Hopefully it's not a self-destruct one and Butterfree can live, but wouldn't be surprised either. Oh, we're running low on confusion. I did not know that. Would have definitely threw out Pidgeotto for that uh, XP that, are you kidding me? He lasts on one HP and managed to land a poison on our Butterfree. No! Butterfree's hurt by poison. Oh. And we're gonna use Gust to finish off the uh, coffin here. So yeah, I might switch into Pidgeotto now. Uh, of course, don't want to get her too over leveled, but yeah, she definitely needs time to shine before we evolve. But I'm gonna try to get Butterfree some more XP here. Here by poison yet again. It's doing 10 damage every turn. We've got 10 confusions left. I don't think there's much left in this route to do, I hope. And doesn't one-shot it as par for the course. Smoke screen, so our accuracy is gonna drop, and so is our HP. Uh, I'm sorry, Butterfree. And we're gonna use Gust though. Finish this off, hopefully. Pretty sure Gust can do enough damage. There we go. Yeah. And 684, nice. I'm gonna use coughing. We are gonna switch now because I don't want Butterfree to get too low HP before the end of this battle because I don't know if I have Antidote. I might have one or two, but I know Pidgeotto can do this guy in pretty quick. She's pretty stellar at using Wing Attack now, so. And, oh, it doesn't even do half. Okay, maybe I, I'm a little too overzealous there with Pidgeotto's uh, previous track record. Oh, Sludge, don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. Okay, sweet. One more final weak attack here. Probably could have got away with using a different move, but hey, 
I know wing attack was gonna hit. Pidgeotto gains 684. Nice. And Biker Jared has been defeated. So let's do our bag check and see if we have any antidotes here. And, oh, it's down. I don't know why I went up. And yeah, we can heal Butterfree up. Nice. Let me feel a little better, buddy. And let's see what's this way. Any more trainers up here that we can miss? Route 14 now. Uh, looks like another bird keeper, so I might just give Pikachu the reins here to steamroll this guy. What do you guys think? You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Uh, I don't know. The last couple TMs we've used have not been that powerful, my friend. And we got Bird Keeper Carter here with a Pidgey. Okay. I might not use Thunderbolt here. I might use Shockwave and hope it does the uh, job. But if it doesn't, it's fine. Um, I just don't want to use all my Thunderbolts because there's another Bird Trainer just down from here. And it does work, so that's fine. Pidgey faints to one measly Thundershock. And a Doduo, okay. I don't think we've seen a Doduo yet, so we'll do Page in our Pokédex for us to fill up more in later. And Shockwave. And the result is... I don't know how Doduo is. I used to use a Dodrio a lot when I was uh, a kid playing this game. But, you know, those days are far and few between. Uh, Pidgeot is coming out next, so we're definitely going to use Thunderbolt on this guy since he is an evolved form. And it will most likely do the job for us. I can't remember if we faced the Pidgeotto yet, but I'm pretty confident in Pikachu's abilities, and yeah, she does the job. So sweet, bye-bye Pidgeotto. And we gain 678 XP, and Bird Keeper Carter has been defeated. Decent amount of change there. Decent amount, not great. Nothing crazy to write home about. And another, there's so many Bird Keepers. My Bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. I hope so, bud. Because I got an Electric-type Pokemon. <laughs> And we've got Bird Keeper Mitch. Okay. Gonna throw out Pidgey first, so now we know we can use Shockwave to easily bypass these guys. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Pidgey has now been hit, and it's done for. Sweet. Pikachu gains a decent amount of XP. Not respectable, but decent. Spearow's out next. We're gonna use uh, Shockwave again. I'm hoping since it takes out Pidgey, it will take out Spearow, but I. I don't know really the stat difference on, on Pidgey and Spearow, so. And it does one shot. Nice. Spearow has fainted, which is always good to see. Pidgey is up next, so yeah, we're gonna keep using, uh. Keep on using Shockwave here. Nice. And the result is. Super effective. Nice. 306 XP, not bad. Not bad at all. It's just, you know, I wish it was a little more. And Firo! Okay, we won't switch, but we're going to be using Thunderbolt to deal with this guy, so. And Thunderbolt! Way to go, buddy. And that's, that's I know I'm celebrating a little early, but hey, pretty confident that, yeah, Firo is going to go down. Pretty cool Pokemon, in my opinion. And Pikachu's going to be level 32 now, going up there in the High Roller Club. And a decent start to level 32. Again, we have another bird trainer coming up next, so... Try not to use too many Thunderbolts in case they have... Oh, there's two bird trainers here. Okay. They have TMs for sale? Okay. I mean, we saw that, but... I didn't see anything that drove my interest too well. I mean, maybe giving Pikachu Dig would be a pretty, uh... Cool move, but, you know. Pidgeotto's out. Uh, level 29. I'm gonna use Thunderbolt, I think. How many do we have left? We have six, so we should be fine. If anything, uh... We'll just start using Shockwave, I guess. <laughs> I think it has like 20. We got a crit. Nice, Pikachu. Way to go. And 702 XP. Not bad. A Fero. Um, yeah, why not? We'll use Shockwave and hopefully do some decent respectable damage against the Fero. Maybe even one knock at it? Eh, no. Okay. Uses Growl. Doesn't really affect us at all because our special attack is what we rely on. And one more shockwave. Ought to do the job. Yes, sir. There it goes. Sweet. Firo has fainted, and we get 1,006 XP. Definitely the most XP we've gained. Seems like every episode now I have to say that. Uh, I didn't see what the other Firo gave us, so I can't really say to be sure. But one more bird trainer, it looks like. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? You'll be able to soar into <laughs> you'll be able to soar with it into the sky. Okay, a little rhyme there. A lyricist on our hands, maybe. And it is Bird Keeper Marlin. Alright, throwing out Spearow. So yeah, Shockwave. Thankfully, 
uh, we'll do the job here. And the result is... Da -da -da -da. A one-hit knockout. Nice. Way to go, Pikachu. You are the girl. Or lady? Woman? I'm not sure. And Doduo is up next. Gonna use Shockwave yet again. Because we know Doduo cannot stand to a Shockwave. Unless this one has better defense IVs. But, you know, it, it doesn't. We, we steamroll it. <laughs> and goodbye, Doduo. 576. Uh, Firo's out next, so we know to use Thunderbolt on this one. And we are going to have four Thunderbolts left. So hopefully there's not, you know, that many more bird trainers. I, I think we're coming up on the end of the route here. I could be wrong. I know there's a, this route is probably the longest one in the game. I always dread it just because I, I'm not a type of guy that, like, st stocks up at stores for, you know, um, potions and all that mess. Because I don't really use them in battle too often, except for, like, the Elite Four, I think. But as I've grown older, it's more and more rare that I use items in battle, I feel. Because I, I, I'm not as scared as I was when I was a kid to let my Pokemon faint, I guess. Agility? Um, what moves do you know, Pikachu? Uh, quick Attack, Thunder Wave, Shock Wave. Uh, we'll keep, we'll keep that. I'm good. Yeah, stop learning Agility. Pikachu's already pretty fast for a Pokemon, so... And if we both did the right shoot, it'd be way faster, I think. And there's some more trainers, right? Another Bird Keeper? Oh my. Have you heard the Legend of the Winged Mirages? Uh, no, I haven't. I might have to speak to you about that a little more afterwards. But anyways, it is Bird Keeper Donald here. He is a Farfetch'd! Oh, sweet! And we are going to Shockwave this Farfetch and hope that it does the job. Level 33 Farfetch versus a level 33 Pikachu. Probably won't one knockout it, because we just saw Fira live to a Thunderbolt last time, so that was pretty crazy. Gonna use Swords Dance to raise his attack. So, yeah, it's, it's a... I think we did, got a, we did get a decent Fero from that trade, I guess. Adamant Nature... You know, for a physical attacking Pokemon, not bad. Again, I don't know. I'm not a big competitive Pokemon player, so. And Bird Keeper Donald is done. Why? Why'd I lose? 792 Poke Dollars for winning. Well, the Winged Rogers are the legendary bird Pokemon. There are three of them Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Okay, I had no idea NPCs talked about them, so that's cool. Are you kidding me? Another bird trainer? I'm not into it, but okay. Let's go. Like, dude, if you don't want to battle, you don't have to, man, I swear. I'm not trying to force you into anything here. And we are up against Bird Keeper Benny. All right. And let's see what he has to say. Spiro. All right. So Pikachu's starting out to be able to one-shot these guys, so... Hope and pray that it does on this Spiro. Seems like Spiro and Pidgey, though, are just a different class compared to, like, Farfetch'd, Fearo, and Pidgeotto, of course, because, you know, they're better Pokemon. Well, I don't know about Farfetch'd, but, you know... I had never really used Farfetch'd. I thought about using it for this playthrough, but I was like, no, <laughs> let me not. And we're going to use one of our remaining Thunderbolts here to weaken down this Winged Beast hero. Hopefully it does one shot. Not going to get too greedy. And it does. Wow. So the other one just had a better defense, I guess. Special defense, too. And 1006 XP. Nice. Almost level 34. Not going to get to it, though, with our Pikachu here. Um... I see a double battle approaching, so let's switch, uh, let's do Pidgeotto and Gyarados, why not? And let's switch you with Venusaur. And let's switch you guys, but I'm less likely to use Nidoking right now. And yeah, that should be good. Let's see what these girls have to say for themselves. Chan, let's try really, really hard together! Yeah, okay, we'll see what you got, girl. Or, girls. And it is... Twins, Kiri and Jan here. Charmander and Squirtle. Okay, nice. I think we've seen a Squirtle before, so that's always nice to see. I don't think we'll be able to finish the uh, Pokédex uh, entries with Squirtle because I don't think anyone in the game has War Turtle and Blastoise. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing it. I know Charizard. If you don't pick it, uh, you're probably not going to see it pretty much. So he's Wing Attack on the Squirtle and Water Pulse on Charmander though. Well, I think that's just their base Pokemon. It does one hit, and it does. Nice. Not sure about Wing Attack, though, because, you know, Squirtle isn't really weak to Flying type, but, you know, it's pretty bulky defensively as well, so I doubt it will one-shot it. Anyway, we use Water Gun on Gyarados. Really, bud? Huh? Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gonna use Wing Attack yet again, and we're gonna use, uh, Bite this time. Bite doesn't quite knock it out, but Wing Attack definitely will. Like I said, Squirtle's a pretty defensive Pokemon. So if that's your playstyle, definitely go with Squirtle. <laughs> a little late in the walkthrough to be saying that, but you know, it's fine. 
And yeah, we got 696 Poké Dollars for winning. There are some bikers up there. I don't really want to mess with them though, because Butterfree is pretty low health right now. There's another biker right here and there. Here's a beauty. We could probably take her on with, uh, who do we have up front? Pidgeotto? Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, you're a little cutie. So, like a darling Pokemon. Okay. Um, thank you. Anyways, we are up against Beauty Grace here. She has a Pidgeotto as well, so... Alright. <laughs> we'll do an honor battle, I guess. Um, I don't think Wing Attack is going to do that much since it's also a flying type, but we'll try. And it does about half health, actually. Surpri oh. And Pikachu's out. That was the worst Pokemon you could have chose. That's the second time that's happened, so... Lucky us, I guess. And... Pidgeotto is fainted. Nice, nice, nice. And I think Pikachu's gonna level up here. No, just on the cusp. Wigglytuff. Um, uh, we use Pidgeotto. Really trying to get her to level 36 ASAP here because we are approaching uh, the deadline for that. Uh, wing attack for you, my friend. Hopefully that has a decent amount of damage. Wigglytuff's pretty bulky though. Oh, disable missed. Okay. I'm gonna go for a wing attack again. Oh man, I didn't realize how far, how long the recording is now. Um, all right, let's try to wrap this up, Pidgeotto. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. Because we are at 26 minutes, it looks like, and yeah, I kind of got carried away with the trainer battles. Defeated Beauty Grace. So guys, that is where we're gonna end it here. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, share around with your friends if you think they'd also enjoy this content. And I've been the Pokemon Cowboy with you here today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.